Some of the best female golfers in the world are teeing off in Cincinnati this week. It's just one of the stops on the LPGA mm -hmm. Tour. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart was at the tournament today and checked out the new fan activations. What makes this tournament unique are the fan experiences and amenities from the beauty bar where you can get your hair braided to the Pampers Family Center where your kids can run around and cool off to the freshest putt contest where you can putt to win a $250 Kroger gift card, but that's only if you sink it in the hole. We've definitely stepped up our game. Um, we have a lot new, a lot more experiences. They've stepped it up for a big reason. This is the second annual Kroger Queen City Championship presented by PNG. Uh, welcoming 144 of the world's best female golfers competing for a purse of $2 million. With $2 million on the line for the athletes, it only makes sense to have top of the line amenities. We have our Carlo and Johnny Pavilion. We're going to have some steak sliders. We're going to have some crudite uh, golf balls that are um, our cake pops and then our famous butter pie as well. The Pavilion is a new perk for fans who buy an upgraded ticket. But the tournament isn't the only organization trying to win fans over. We'll do some marketing around the tournament. The tournament is hosted in Madeira, so the Chamber of Commerce is trying to figure out how to capitalize off of it. We definitely like to maximize the excitement around it. Tournament director Emily Norell says the event brings in a lot of money. It's around that $10 million number. The Madeira Chamber of Commerce is trying some new things this year to increase their exposure. This year we actually have an ad in the LPGA tournament program. So every attendee at the event will have a copy of that. We've done some QR coding. We've done some commercials and some things along those lines. Their goal is to get fans, volunteers and the athletes to stick around in Madeira or to come back once the tournament is over. Reporting from the Kenwood Country Club, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.